Sticks and stones may break our bones, but did Neanderthals also invent music? Yeah, welcome back to Bumblebee. Here are the top 10 weirdest Neanderthal inventions we still use today. Kicking off the list at number 10, burials. This list is full of interesting objects that Neanderthals created, like tools or weapons, that kind of stuff. But the idea of burying your loved one after they've passed on, well, that had to start somewhere, didn't it? Ancient Egyptians arguably did it the best. The rich were buried with their treasure and goods because they believed that death on our world was just the start. There was another life afterwards and they would take their treasure and good stuff with them. Bye, not leaving anything for you. I'm taking all this with me. Neanderthals didn't figure out how to build tombs yet or how to rule for decades. Studies done in Western Europe suggest that Neanderthals would sometimes bury their dead and leave flowers. Flowers or a grave marker of some sort. Pollen was found in Northern Iraq's Shandir Caves. Shandir Cave is a staple when it comes to Neanderthal history. And the fact that flowers were found in the middle of a cave system, some humans and emotions are definitely at play here. This was symbolic thinking. The weather didn't make it easy to collect flowers as well. Loved ones passing during an ice age? Yeah, I'll never complain about an outdoor funeral again. Number nine, glass. Imagine making glass for the first time. You would have thought you were a wizard for sure. I watch glass blowing shows now and it looks like wizardry. Wizardry in 4K. Glass blowing is nuts. They're just like, and it's just like a vase all of a sudden. They're like, how did he do that? That's so hot. Glass that was naturally occurring, like obsidian for example, that was around and used during the Stone Age. Man-made glass was first used around 6,000 years ago. Man-made glass, yeah, let's talk about it. Archaeologists are pinning Lebanon, North Syria, and ancient Egypt as the birthplace of synthetic glass. The first use of man-made glass were beads, believe it or not. Imagine being the first person to rock beads. Ah, the confidence. Mid-2000 BC, guy decides to glaze up some beads. What an icon. Now we get to do this. The beads, it's a cool door. Number eight, sharpened stones. Some of the oldest tools in history could be laying in front of you and you would have zero idea. You have no clue. Coming from the shores of Lake Tucana in Kenya, these stone tools date back to around three million years ago. Yeah, these are predating the tools before that I mentioned by like 700,000 years. They seem to predate humans in the Homo genus as well. So that's interesting, that's kind of concerning. The volcanic ash and minerals around these sharpened stones date back that far, millions of years old. Stones in history can get a little dirty to say the least. Not all these ideas that involve stones or sharpened stones are the best. French anthropologist Philippe Charlier shared toilet hygiene history in the British Medical Journal. Perhaps one of the most intriguing parts explains how these flat terracotta discs were found in ancient Greek sites and they had residue on them. They had a certain residue on these sharp rocks. They used to with these stones, yeah. They also discovered a Greek cup which said three stones are enough to wipe one's arse. Three? I don't know, that's at least five, my friend. Greeks would use stones to wipe. Never take the go for granted ever again. Number seven, axes. The Neolithic period, also referred to as the New Stone Age, introduced us to many vital tools that we still use today. Like an axe, for example. Around 10,000 BC, Neanderthals moved from being these small hunter-gatherer type groups to these much larger settlements. In order to do so, you had to clear a lot of land. Humans evolved at this point in history because that's when we went from flaking stones to grinding them down entirely. We put a little more elbow grease in in order to clear those trees out to build a settlement or two or three or five. Neolithic axes were found at sites in England and Denmark. This one here was found in great condition, alarmingly great condition, like look at this thing. It was uncovered during archeological surveys for a tunnel project in Denmark. Imagine finding a 5,500 year old ax in the middle of your shift. And in case you're wondering, the lack of oxygen in the surrounding clay is the reason why the wooden handle was preserved so well. It almost seems like it was placed there as some type of offering. My first thought is that it's for sure belonging to the Odin Thor family. I don't know, it's, it's placed downwards, you know what I mean? No one touch it. Number six, spears and arrows. Perhaps one of the most vital inventions, one we for sure still use today, always, of course. Arrows and spears were a necessity when it came to hunting. And for people in the Stone Age, all they needed really was wood. They would carve a leaf shape at the end or a triangle at the tip, and then they were mainly used by riders or barefoot hunters. But when it came to hunting, you didn't want to get too close to your prey, or else the wrong team could be claiming victory and eat the other for lunch. You get what I'm saying? So their solution was to huck these spears instead, or make really tiny ones that you can throw or shoot. The oldest bows in history are from 9000 BC. They're the home guard bows. They're found in Northern Europe all the way back from the Mesolithic period. The oldest spears, however, they come from Germany around 400,000 years ago, and they're actually the oldest wooden artifacts ever in history. Imagine being the first person to make a spear. Forget iPhones, a spear, that's a big deal. Number five, 
flutes. We love a solid flutist. They're flutists, right? Flutest? Uh, <laughs> dude, I've always wanted to play the flute. Pied Piper, that guy is daring. That guy's wild. He runs around town and plays the jazz flute all day long in tights. Of course I want to be like that, mostly. He's got some flaws. But who is the first person to bust out We Three Kings? Who do we have to blame for all those horrible recorder classes in elementary school? I was the one kid next to you. You're like, drain the spit. It's not on properly. Cover your, use that pinky, cover your thing up. The first instrument known to man was most likely our vocal cords, but the second instrument were the flutes of Glycine Coastal Cave. They're the oldest musical instruments that have ever been discovered. They were made from bird bone and the ivory of a mammoth. Yeah, so that's an indication how old they are. They made music out of mammoth ivory. That's old. Brass? Like, no, 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 we haven't found that yet. Number four, paintings. Yeah, why not? Let's include art into this mix. Who was the first person to create art? The Lascaux Caves have been dubbed the prehistoric Sistine Chapel. These cave paintings are from 17,000 years ago and they're beautiful. But if you're thinking about sneaking down there to write Jordan was here, well, you better think again. The cave was opened originally in 1948, but due to carbon dioxide levels and sweat from visitors and just people breathing and being around, it was closed in 1963. You can't be breathing on our prehistoric paintings. Get your morning dad breath out of here, sir. We don't want that. Look how beautiful it is. It's really nice. <sighs> Learning about our history is challenging, but it's slowly fading away. We're breathing on it all day long. But these caves in France are not home to the oldest paintings in the world, believe it or not. Altamira Cave in Spain houses cave paintings from 35,000 years ago. The paintings were in such great condition that at first scientists doubted that they were the real deal from that long ago. But in 1902, they were marked as the real deal. These ochre and charcoal images are the most well-preserved on the planet. Meanwhile, I'm over here still drawing the sun in the corner of my page. Number three. Blades. Around 80,000 years ago, the first ever five o'clock shadow appeared. And it wasn't my family, we, didn't, we don't have those. An upper paleolithic stone tool tradition came from Neanderthals and also the first modern human, it's a big deal. This method here was to shave up your face so you're not you know, eating your own mustache for dinner and it was entirely new to the game. During this process, Neanderthals would often break off these sharp flakes from the core of a large stone and then use those chips as blades. Horrible, just imagining that. The Aurignacian culture, appropriately named after the French village of Aurignac, where Neanderthal remains were found back in 1860, this culture is the first modern human in Europe. Looking back to around 100,000 years ago, we had to use seashells. And when I say seashells to get rid of hair, I don't mean they would, you know, glide across the skin or anything like that. They would use two shells, then use them together as tweezers. Yeah, one by one. Seashells, can you imagine? That's horrible. Can you hear that? That's the sound of our ancestors plucking their unibrow. Sounds painful, right? Ah, uh, yes, it was. Sharpened clamshells were later used in the 19th century because we realized that they're flat enough we could probably just swipe off the hair. It saved a lot of time. Still horrible, but we saved a lot of time. We figured it out. Number two, the wheel. One of the greatest inventions of all time, and now all we want is hover cars. How disrespectful, we just got this thing. The wheel, the idea of the wheel is unlike any other. See, most inventors are inspired by nature. Planes, submarines, bullet trains, all has something to do with nature, bird beaks, flying, underwater, all that crap. Nothing in nature resembles a wheel at all. The closest thing really are tumbleweeds and dung beetles. My favorite thing to mention on this uh, channel, the poop rollers. Potter wheels were found from Mesopotamia around 5,500 years ago. Now it's hard to pinpoint who used the wheel first and where, I mean, given the fact that it was that long ago, but the front runners so far aside from Mesopotamia are the Tripoli people of modern Ukraine because the word wheel literally is derived from their language, but the wheelbarrow may have appeared in ancient Greece around 600 BCE. They say you can't reinvent the wheel, but I feel like you can, at least this early in time, I feel like we did. Number one, fire. I mean, next to the wheel, this one was, you know, it's pretty important, I'd say. When was fire first used in history? Well, a study done in 2011 was published in the Proceedings of National Academy of Science, and it showed that Neanderthals were firebenders. Not really, no. They were just, after carefully examining over 140 fireplace sites in Europe, the University of Colorado Boulder found some stone artifacts and charcoal dating back to 400,000 years ago. Now, of course, these fireplaces were used to cook meals, but at the same time, tools were created during this process. Melting things and moving them around, kind of like glass blowing, heat makes things come to life. Neanderthals would use something called pitch. Pitch was made by burning the bark of birch trees. It allowed them to attach stones to wooden shafts, which is a pretty big deal when it came to hammers and tools. Inventing glue is one thing, but doing it while you're working the barbecue? Whose dad was that? That's impressive, that's so impressive. Guys making tools while making lunch. 
Thank you so much for joining us on Bumblebee. You guys are a blast as usual. Hit that thumbs up, comment down below anything you want to see in the future. Those are the top 10 weirdest Neanderthal inventions we still use today. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Peace. Jerry beads. Oh, Jerry beads? Jerry beads? Yo, we have all the beads you want. All because of this guy. Or girl, I don't know. Cut that last part out. I ruined the joke. Burned in the bark of birch trees. That sounded nice. Somebody was like, I have like, this thing arm, like blending in. So, so stupid. I'm like, look, it looks like I have no arms. Oh my God. All right, that, that, that.